hi everyone welcome back to my channel and yes this is a review on the elf big blushes and if you like to see what I my take my experience in using these blushes are please keep on watching <laughs> Alright, so the e.l.f. Big Blushes come from the studio line. I really thought at first they would have belonged to the mineral line for e.l.f. And that's eyes, lips, face, dot com. And I eventually realized they were from the studio line. So they will come in the regular black packaging that most studio items do come in. And this is the actual packaging of the blush after you take it out of its cardboard packaging. So they come like this with a clear um cup over them the back is black and it just says what the blushes name is it's item number and um some other numbers that i don't know but this is what it looks like right so there's a lot of like i guess empty space what i plan to do because it's like so tiny will be to put another sticker here to um, put the name of them because really and truly sometimes they're so tiny I can't see it. However, I am familiar with the different ones, not necessarily by name, but like, you know, which one I want to use when. Um, so, you know, it's not totally necessary if you become familiar with them. But for me, I, I would like to because I keep forgetting the names and every time I look at it, I have to like really squint my eyes because the writing is so small. So this is how it is. On the top says else elf big blush i don't know if you guys can see it does say elf big blush so in the big blush collection there are four blushes and or what it class as blushes however for me one operates or actually one or two of them operate as highlighters because it's so sheer um yeah so sheer it's not totally pigmented to match up with my skin tone so here we go with the first four. All right, so the four blushes that come in the bake line. The first one we have here, and this one is called Pink Tastic. And this is what a blush looks like. It's really more of a, like a champagne with some pink, baby pink veining. Next we have would be Peachy Cheeky which is more of a peachy blush and peachy cheeky has some brown vein in it so it does it's really more good for really warmer skin tones then we have passion pink passion pink has more has like baby tone um, has like a baby pink but, and also some like brown light brown from between like a champagne to a darker brown but it's really pale like a nude brown color Honestly. and then we have the last one which is rich rich rose And rich rose have more of a darker pink. I cannot to me, mine looks a lot more like a coral than a red color. It on the website it did look more red, but this looks more coral with a darker brown. And you do see some lighter pink, like that's a little bit in peachy cheeky in it. But one thing I gotta tell you with these. Um, big blushes that all of them are not consistent in their um, color selection if you're familiar with baked products um, big blushes they do have veining in them and what happens is that there is no one that is alike to another they're all different so that you do get some sometimes with more veining of one thing than another so like by for example pink tastic which is the lightest shade. I'm just double checking name, sorry. You can see it has a lot of champagne in it. Um, and it's not so much of the P 
pink color there someone may get more pink, baby pink than they would get at champagne color so therefore they can use that as a blush if they're like really light skin tone i know of others who got um sometimes like a reddish tint into their rich rose um as again so much peach and not a lot of brown in it so it's more pink and corally but that's pretty much how they go there's just not really not a standard and if you're familiar with like max mineralized finish or even the bl mineral blushes not mineral the big blushes from milani then they also operate very similar so what makes elf big blushes different from like say mac mineralized skin finish or even um milani's blushes or at well i started using city color cosmetics and they also have a baked blush now what makes our blushes different from them really and truly it's to me it's not much difference well the milani for sure that one stands out a lot more to me because i find out of all four that i just listed that one is most pigmented uh, MAC, it's way too expensive and I find that I get the same PO for this because I do own one from MAC. I actually did own a second one but returned it because I got the e.l.f. blushes um, and these e.l.f. were doing pretty much the same. But the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, I think they're about $25. US um, These are $3 US and you can get them on sale even for $150 if they have, you know, their 50% off sale on um like say i know now and then they do have their 50 percent off their website or their studio items especially coming down to like thanksgiving time or any like you know u.s holidays you can get um sometimes these things on 50 percent but for three dollars which is the regular price i don't see it um being that expensive and then you also have the milani blushes which i think are about eight u.s dollars and or eight to ten u.s dollars and the city color cosmetics which is a larger blush that one ranges for 2.99 so um you know these are like in between they're not as pigmented as the milani blush but not as big as the city color they i would definitely suggest them for the average person the great thing about elf products is that they're available internationally there are lots of distributors that sell these products in other countries other than the u.s and even Elf, they have some international sites like, you know, I think there is like China, Colombia, and Germany. So that you are able, Australia, I think is one. And you can get these other, you know, these blushes from those sites if you belong to those countries. But other than that, there are lots of international distributors so that these blushes are a lot more readily available. And they're so affordable that the average makeup user um, can have access to these blushes. So now on to the swatches. Alright, so I'm going to just swatch all of them with my fingers first to show you the color payoff. And note that when one swatches with fingers, you get a really more dense um, pink, you know, color payoff. As against when you use a brush, it's going to be sheer. But I just thought I'll show you with my fingers and then with my brush. So the first one we have here is Pinktastic. And this is what Pinktastic looks like swatched on the finger and I'm gonna also swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys to see so as you can see it operates on my skin tone as more of a highlighter next we have peachy cheeky so this is what it looks like swatched on my hand really like a light pale peach color and that's it swatch on my hand you see it's really of a pale peach color this could also be used on top of another blush for me with my skin tone as a highlighter but you know I also try it sometimes as a blush but I generally use this as a highlighter then we have sorry this one is passion pink oops I think I swatched it over let me swatch it again All right so that's it there on this finger I actually swatched it over the finger I used so peachy cheeky now this one is a little darker and I may have to build it than the peachy cheeky and this can be used as a blush so you get you get like a pale rose color with it and lastly we have rich rose 
which looks like this swatched on my hand and the back of my hand here so you see this one has more of a darker coral color to it so you see they're not like really bound pigmented out there in your face kind of um, blushes they are more sheer but they give you like a flush of color and what I really like about them is that you know you could build build on them so now let's do swatches with a brush now before we do swatches with the brushes I thought I would show you the brushes that I use of choice when applying these big blushes now there is one other brush but it is it's not an elf brush I got it from Colsa Sans was an angled blush brush but I prefer to use these two as against that one that's just a backup in case any of these are dirty but I use these two brushes and it's the elf angled blush brush and the elf blush brush now I actually use them for different purposes if I'm going to use one of the blushes as highlighter I use the regular brush blush brush and if I'm going to use it as a blush I use the um, angled blush brush um, reason being I think out of all the brushes that I own this one is a lot more compact and because they're so sheer you do want to see color on your face and so I use this one to build it if I'm using it as a highlighter this is compact enough to get color on the brush and then I find it's easy to apply as highlighter so I use these are the two brushes that I use um, for um, my baked blushes so the first blush we have here is the Pinktastic and I use this blush this brush sorry and so you see the color there and I am going to swatch it on my hand for you to see so you see this just gives it a highlight you can barely see it but it just gives you that natural glow and I really like this as a highlighter because it just really gives you a glow I am wearing it it's not too shimmery it's subtle enough for my skin tone and it just makes me look highlighted I really like it I I definitely enjoy it when I use it when I use it I do get compliments with it and it is a highlighter that I would grab or go to all right, the next blush we have is the Peachy Cheeky, and I'm going to show it with both blushes, brushes, sorry, just because I use this color sometimes as a highlighter and also as a blush. So this is it here. As you can see, it does give a nice glow to it with this brush. You can um, get an it just really highlights the face if you are darker skin tone to me then this would also definitely give you a better peel for as a highlighter and then now with the blush brush that's how it picks it up we're gonna go on this side I don't know if you guys can see it that's what it looks like it does not show up much because really and truly it works a lot like a highlighter for me but I, I try to build it up sometimes and it just gives a nice sheer peachy look to it but I know it's not picking up here it looks more like a highlighter but in real lighting we're well not real lighting in real it just has a light light um, peachy glow to it next we have is passion pink and I can sometimes get away with this as a highlight also so I'll show you how it looks when I use this brush I use it to highlight and sometimes what I do is that I use this with a lighter um, if I have like a blush that's really pigmented I can use this to just go as almost natural highlight and you can see it has a very tinge here of color but it's it's not it's very subtle it, this one gives you a very subtle highlight and now with the blush brush so that's the color there you can barely see some color again here but I'll go it over again to build it that's it there I know it's not you're not seeing much or anything it's not but it just really and truly just gives you a nice natural glow to it so and the last one we have here is rich rose and I've never used this as a highlighter I always use this as a blush so that's the pickup 
this you don't really see much but this was one of those that you have to build so that's it there now I know it may look like just a flush of color um, nothing really crazy out there as you can see um, it usually it does show up a little more on my face as against how it is showing up here that's it here um, I wear these a lot of times with like maybe a base or with um, an, on top of another blush but this one I've, I've worn it alone and I've also worn Pink Passion, Peachy Cheek. I think I've worn all except Pinktastic as a blush alone but that again was just for like a natural flush of color. Now overall what you know what's the take on these things because they really and truly would say oh my gosh they don't look like if they have much pigmentation at all. And the truth is, it, it doesn't really have a lot and you have to play around with it. I personally, when I got it the first time, was really disappointed. I thought at least Rich Rose and Passion Pink would have color payoff and they really didn't have much. Um, but what I also did was to play around with things because sometimes they don't work one way and they can work another way. And... Uh, what I do sometimes with these is that I'll actually put them on top of other pigmented blushes. So if the blush is really pigmented, I will put it on top of it to tone it down. Or if I just want a nice, um, like to just have my face glowing without using a harsher highlighter, I'll use one of the darker colors like Peachy Cheeky and pink, Passion Pink as, I get, as against Pinktastic, which gives you that bold kind of highlight. Um, but it's still, I find with peachy, with passion, not passion, pinktastic, you are still able to get a natural highlight. So that's why I like these because they do give you like a natural glow to your face because I am wearing it. They're not too crazy and I do have rich rose on my cheeks and you can see the blush that's on my cheeks. But um, one way that I also use, and this was a tip from a friend of mine, was to actually take it and rub it on the skin itself, directly on the skin, from the blush to the skin, as against using a brush. And that works really great if I want color payoff. So we have Rich Rose here, and I'm just going to rub it onto my hand. Can you see the payoff? So you definitely get a better payoff with this. And so we're going to try it now with um, Passion Pink. And you can see, you see how much of a difference it makes when you just rub it onto your face itself. And so this is my preferred method of application. And that there is peachy cheeky. Now, because Pinktastic I use as a highlight, I don't usually use um, rub it onto my face directly. But I will just show it to you guys here since I was swatching all of them like that. So with this method, you can see this is Rich Rose, this is pink, Passion Pink, Peachy Cheeky and Pinktastic, you do definitely get a better payoff. Now, because you're going to be putting this directly onto your face, you would need to sanitize these because, you know, you're having transfer bacteria and all that kind of stuff. So you don't want your blushes to go bad on you. And I've had these for quite a couple, uh, a lot of months and I have used them. And the great thing is that these um, do take a lot of wear uh, because they're baked products, they're very compact, and so they do... Um, you get a lot of use out of them and the stain power is really great I mean I, you I, it's, I love the stain power I've had on this makeup for already six hours and as you can see um, my eyes are starting to run but you know I still have glowy you know glowy cheeks I find that it stays long is on for pretty you know for a long period of time so I definitely, definitely would recommend you still to get it in Trinidad. I know you can get them for like between twenty to thirty dollars. Um, if you get it on sale, definitely grab them. The, if you're darker than me, the la dark, last two shades would de would be a definite recommend. But I really love Pinktastic as a highlight. It's absolutely great. All of these can work. You know, you can change it up because I use them for different things but the best application that I have seen so far would be to rub it directly onto where you want then take your blush brush and just you know blend it out and you know and you're good to go then that's that's it here if I have to rate these blushes I'll definitely give them a 3.5 um, overall 
I don't think it's a lot of work to do to just take it and have to rub it on your face because I know it's other blushes you have to do a lot more to get color payoff. That works really amazing for me. I've also used bases so they have the e.l.f. HD blushes. I've used those and then used one of these on top of it and I get a nice highlight and all of that with that method. But it's not a lot of work. But you know I still think that e.l.f. could have brought a bit, a, a bit of better pigmentation to them or Hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that they expand this collection to more than four and make it maybe about 68 but with more, with dark, a lot more pigmented, bl um, big blushes so that it can be, you know, all skin tones can use this. If you are really dark or you're chocolate um, colored, you would find that these blushes will all work as highlighters and they will not really work as blushes. So, um... It's, you know, it's not geared towards everyone, and that's why I would rate it as a 3.5. Again, I hope this review was helpful, and uh, stay tuned to many more reviews, and thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribers yet, please go ahead and do so, so that you can have in your feed my videos for you to watch. So until next time, bye-bye.